Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video doing an unboxing, assembly, and review of the Winsome Halifax 5-drawer uh, desk organizer or cabinet setup. Uh, this is going to be the white color. You can currently get this on Amazon for about $86. The reason why I purchased this is I've had like a cheap plastic organizer under my desk for several years now. And recently the wheels on it broke off. So I decided I wanted to upgrade to a, a wooden or better quality um, desk organizer. And so I ended up purchasing this after looking at different varieties on Amazon's website. Um, if you look at the reviews, there are a little bit of mixed reviews about this product. Um, the main criticism is a lot of people struggle with assembling, assembling this and putting it together. And so hopefully this video will be helpful because I'm gonna go through assembly step by step. It might take a little while, but for those of you that do purchase this, hopefully this video will be helpful for putting this together and making sure that you don't damage it in the process. As always, if you're interested in potentially purchasing this, I'll leave links in the description below for where you can find it on Amazon. All right, real quick, before I open this, I did want to go over the dimensions because the sticker covers this on the box, um, but it's going to be 16 inch depth by 19.25 width, and then it's going to be 26.25 height. Um, it should fit under most desks or next to them, um, but that's the dimensions as far as that. This is gonna be in the white color. It is pretty heavy, so if you have to manipulate it or anything, um, and you can't lift this on your own, you might need two people. Um, but what we'll do now is we'll just open this up, show you what comes in the actual box, and then we'll start working through step by step as far as putting it together. Um, I had no damage um, to the box with delivery, which is nice, um, but you always have to be careful with something this heavy. Um, hopefully we can set this up. Um, so within the box here, um, you've got kind of styrofoam packaging um, that keeps everything nice and organized. Um, it's gonna be a mess as far as pulling this all out. Um, there's gonna be the drawer bottoms, which is probably this. There's gonna be probably a bunch of different drawer sides, which are all these. And so there's a whole bunch of these as far as the drawer side sidings. Um, these are what you're gonna use as far as putting together the drawers. Um, and then there's gonna be all the rails for putting it together. Um, more of the sidings. So that's all that stuff, okay? Um, then you're going to have, you should have the sides, um, which are the, gonna be these things. So there should be like four of these, which will be like, sorry, one, two, three and four. Um, so that's that. Um, and then you're gonna have the front drawer faces, which are these. So there's gonna be one, two, three, four and five and then you're gonna have some stuff to put it together and then lastly let's see what we got we got the backing as well and so that should be everything that comes in the box so what i'll do is i'll put this out organized um, show you step by step what everything is in the box and then we'll walk through step by step putting it together based on the instructions. Okay, so here's everything in the box all spread out. So you're gonna have one thin piece that's gonna be the backing um, that'll look like this. Um, there's gonna be two larger pieces like this which will be uh, the sides of the actual cabinet center. There's gonna be two separate ones that are slightly smaller um, that I believe will be the top and the bottom, okay? And then all these middle components are gonna be everything you'll need for the drawers. Um, so there's gonna be five pieces that have a little pull area, which will be the front of the drawer. Um, five pieces that are a little bit longer, which will be the back of the drawer. Um, then there's gonna be two separate ones that are identical, which will be the side of the drawer. And then you'll have um, five sets that are this cardboard that'll be the bottom of the drawer. Additionally, you'll have um, five sets of drawer um, drawer inserts which will attach to both the sides as well as the drawer itself so that you can insert it. And then within this, they have three separate boxes. One is gonna be this uh, kind of brown cardboard one, which will be a hardware packet. Um, I believe this has all the wheels. We'll just, I opened it. Yeah, so this will be all the wheels for the bottom of it. 
And then there's gonna be two separate ones that are a little bit smaller. And these are all gonna be the components that you need in order to put it together, um, as well as the instruction manual. And so there's a lot of different ones in here. Um, the instructions come in one of these boxes. You can review that in detail, but I'll, what I'll do now is I'll read it over and go step by step based on this. Um, so you can work on this alongside at home if you're assembling it together. Okay, so here's everything you'll need for step one. Um, so step one, you'll need the two bigger pieces that have holes or pairs of holes along the side here, like that for the five separate drawers. And these are gonna be virtually identical, but just opposite. And so there's gonna be two holes at the top, place it or align it so those are at the top. And then there's gonna be slip for the cardboard that place it so it's in the middle. And then what you'll need to do is go through all the drawer setups and grab Grab each of the drawer um, drawer uh, drawer pieces that have the wheels on them, and pull them all aside where all the ones that are identical are together, which is what I did at the top. And so what you'll notice is that um, for these drawers, there's going to be a wheel and then there's gonna be a slot so that the drawer can come into this. Um, so the piece, so this one will, um, the, it'll slide in and go this way for this drawer. And that's all, all gonna be these pieces on the right or left hand side um, so that it, will look like this um, where the drawer comes in and goes backwards towards the back which is the back edge here all the ones that have it so that it's on the right hand side where the drawer comes in will be the right hand one here and so what you'll do is basically at the, for this step, you'll just basically align these up on the holes on the front here, get it so that the front hole um, is lined up, and then what you'll do is you'll screw these in um, using a screwdriver. In the um, kind of equipment thing, um, what you'll use for this is gonna be all these screws here, which are the second slot in one of these. I'll open this up and now and just show you what these look like. Um, but these are gonna be these small um, screws that basically are a little bit thicker um, and the, how this will work is basically you'll just take these and you'll screw them in directly so that the drawers into this piece so give me one second I'll just show you real quick And so you'll screw that all the way down flush. You don't have to make it too, too tight because you don't want to strip it. Also, you don't want to crush or damage the um, wood because it is a particle board. Um, but you'll basically just line these up and do that for each of these inserts. There you go. And so that's and so that's what you'll do and then this is what it'll look like so this is the the left hand one so basically the drawer inserts here um, the wheel is towards the front here and that's how you'll set it up and you'll do e that for all these for each drawer um, similarly you'll do the exact same thing for that so i'll do that now and i'll show you what it looks like once you have that complete. okay so this is what it looks like after step one so you'll install all the drawers on both of the sides one thing i did want to talk about or mention that I did mess up as far as explaining it is you're actually going to put this put the screws into the second hole for each of these slots um, previously I said it was the first spot but looking at the instructions is actually gonna be the second hole so don't make that mistake otherwise the drawers won't be aligned appropriately but you'll install it for second the second hole um, and make sure that all the wheels um, open towards the top front end um, on this end but that's step number one all right, so for step two, you're gonna have the pieces that you originally had. Now what you're gonna do is grab the top and the bottom pieces, which are gonna be these separate white pieces. Um, what you'll know is um, the top one will not have any holes on it, so that's what you'll do in step two. Um, you'll grab the top one. Um, the bottom one, if you'll see, is actually gonna be a little bit different where there's holes in the bottom for the wheels. Um, you're actually gonna use this in the next step. Um, so you can just put the bottom aside. Um, as far as this step though, as far as what you'll need for installation is you're gonna need um, the larger wooden dowels. Um, there's gonna be smaller ones and larger ones. You're gonna use the lar four large ones um, to insert onto the top piece. And then the other thing you'll need is you're gonna be need the larger um, kind of like screws 
um, with these in, uh, little inserts. Um, they do have smaller ones, which are kind of a little bit smaller dimension. I made the mistake actually in this step of actually trying to use these first, um, the smaller ones. So don't make that mistake. You're gonna need the larger ones. So basically just grab four of these um, pronged inserts and then you're gonna have four of the other inserts as well um, for the, these larger pieces. And then I'll walk through step, the step of what you actually have to do for this. Okay, so what you'll do first off is you'll take the larger wooden dowels. You're gonna, there's gonna be slots on the side here. You're gonna insert that directly into the larger of the holes and you'll just press down so it's flush. And you'll do each of that for the four different holes, okay? And so that's that part of it. All right, next up, you'll need a screwdriver, very similar to the first step. Um, you're gonna have this prong piece with a screw at the end. You'll basically just screw this directly into each of these four holes. And very similar to the first step, you don't wanna over tighten it because this is particle board so it can crack if you tighten it too much. You really just wanna get it so that it's hand tight. So that's that. And then there's two more on this side. Okay, so that's all you have to do for the top piece. I'll slide that to the side so that you can see the other pieces. Next up, what you'll do is you'll take the larger hole uh, of these holes um, or locks. Um, as you can see, one of them is a little bit smaller as compared to the other. And so what you'll do is now you'll take this, it has a slit in it. You'll just sit, sit it so the slit points that way. There's actually gonna be an arrow to show you that. And you'll do each of that, do that for each of these um, pieces. All right. So that's that. Okay, and then the next step is gonna be a little bit difficult if you have one person, but we'll try to do it um, as I'm doing it here. Um, now what you'll do is basically get the top um, so it's aligned so that this back edge here where the cardboard insert is, aligns with the back edge on this piece. And then what you'll basically do is slide this directly into the holes on each of these side pieces. And get it all the way flush. So that's one that's flush. And very similarly, you're gonna do it the same way for this other piece here. And use the wood dowels and get it flush like that. After that, um, you're gonna use your screwdriver. This might not be easy to see on camera, um, but basically you're gonna just take the screwdriver and tighten it so each of these are tight all the way. Um, it should auto tighten um, for each of them and pull basically the whole piece together. So that's what happened there. And very similarly, you're gonna do it for the other side as well. So that's how you install the top part. So everything's installed, it's tight, the drawers are in place, everything's flush with that step. So and real quick, this is what it looks like on camera. I realized the camera wasn't a good angle, um, but clearly, um, basically you just take the screwdriver, get all these caught here and tighten up that way. But that's everything for the top. All right, next for step two, what you're gonna do now is insert this cardboard piece into the slot. Um, make, make sure that you don't force this but basically it should just slide into the slot on the sides and go all the way and insert directly into the top you might have to manipulate it a little bit here um, so that's all the way flush, but there you go. It's all the way flush. Um, you do have to do this before the next step because if you do not insert this backing, um, our next step is actually gonna install the bottom part. And if you don't have this in place, you're gonna not have it in place when you tighten everything together and it'll be impossible to put in. So make sure you put the backing in before the next step. All right, so step three is gonna be very similar with some subtle nuances to what we just did. Um, now what you'll need is you'll need the four um, wooden dowels, very similar to the last step, virtually identical. You'll just push these directly into the bottom piece, okay? Um, like we did in the last step, all right? And make sure they're all the way flush. All right, and next up what you'll need is rather than that 
pronged piece, you're actually gonna have longer screws in the set that are gonna look like this. They're gonna be silver and longer. Um, so what you'll first do is you're basically gonna take the bottom piece, make sure that the back edge where the cardboard is seated um, is aligned with the cardboard. And then you're basically just gonna line this up with the holes on the bottom and slowly, very carefully push this all the way in. So that's what it's gonna be. Um, and now it's flush. And then um, let me just make sure this is on camera. Um, but basically what you'll do is now just screw directly into um, the bottom piece. So what you're gonna have are there's gonna be some holes on the side here. And basically what you'll do is just screw this in with the screwdriver all the way so that's flush all the way down. So that's that. And again, very similarly, get it hand tight, but don't over tighten it because you don't want to damage the wood. And you're going to do each of that for all four of these different holes on the sides. All right, so step four is gonna be installing the wheels to the bottom. There's gonna be four separate wheels. Um, two of these are a little bit different where there's a locking mechanism um, that'll lock the wheels. Um, what you wanna do is make sure that you put these on the front of the cabinet because if you have it on the back, you won't be able to reach it. So make sure you grab the locking mechanism, put it on the front like this just so you have it. And then the sep other wheels do not have a locking mechanism, so you'll put those on the back. As far as the screws that we'll use for this, they're going to be these um, these screws here that are um, like Phillips head screws that are a little bit shorter than what we last used. And basically you'll just line these up with the holes on the bottom and make sure that you very similarly just screw this in directly into the hole. Um, for this, it might take a little bit more force because um, these screws are, um, or the holes are not completely um, created already. And so you do have to take a little bit more time to screw it all the way in. Um, but basically, very similarly, you're gonna just get it hand tight, don't over tighten it. And you're gonna do that for each of all these holes. Um, so what I'll do is real quick, I'll do that and show you what it looks like at that. All right, so this is what it looks like with the wheels on. I kept the locking ones in the front as I instructed. Um, it did take a little while to screw these in. Just be patient, do it on your own time. Um, but that's it for as far as step four. Um, real quick, we'll just test this out. So it does wheel around without any difficulty. It's not the most smoothest uh, of wheels, but um, for moving this cabinet around, it does allow you to push it out or around without any difficulty. Um, so now we'll go to the next step. All right, so step five is gonna be setting up the drawers or initially setting up the drawers. In order to do this, you'll need the five back pieces, which are gonna be these longer pieces with a slit at the bottom. Uh, additionally, they're gonna have holes that are kind of pre-drilled on the side, on both sides. Um, so that's the back piece. Do not, do not confuse this with the front. Um, the front's gonna actually have a handle, so don't use the, hand, the front at this part because then you'll have to take it apart. Um, then you, what you'll de need is the two side pieces. Um, in order to look at these, they're gonna be a little bit different where um, there's gonna be the bottom edge for the cardboard insert um, and screw holes on the back end. Um, so what you wanna do is just get these all lined up um, and make it so that the back piece um, will screw directly into this, uh, this, this from the side. Um, so what you'll do, I'll walk through doing it for one of these and then we'll put the rest together separately. Um, but you'll need Longer, the longer screws that we use for the bottom of, um, of, of putting it together. And basically what you'll do is use your screwdriver, um, get, insert this directly into the, uh, this side piece, and then line it up with the hole here. And very carefully just screw this directly in here. So we'll do that for the one side. So that's the one screw. And then very similarly, you're gonna do it for the other screw as well hand tight like that and then tighten up the other one make sure that one's tight as well 
And so that's what you have for the one side. Um, as you can tell, all the edges are for the cardboard is lined up. And then what you'll do is you'll take the other piece, um, which has the holes on the side, and you'll do the exact same thing for the other side. I'm not gonna do that on camera, just to speed this along. All right, real quick, this is what it looks like when you're done. So you have the edge to slide the cardboard in, um, aligned on each of the sides. Uh, you got the two screws on the one side, the two screws on the other side, and that's what you'll do for step five. And you'll put all five drawers together for this um, aspect of it. Okay, so I put together um, pretty much four of the drawers. I actually realized that I screwed up for the bottom piece. There's actually a separate set of screws that are gonna be black in color um, that you use to insert the bottom piece onto the cabinet system. Um, so what I'm actually gonna have to do is take out the screws that are currently in place, swap them out with the black ones, and then use the silver ones on the drawers. Um, so that's a mistake I made, but the silver ones are used for the drawers and the black ones are used for the bottom. Don't make so this is what I mean basically I use the silver screws that are only supposed to be used for the drawers um, for the bottom here um, which are a little bit different um, really what you actually have to use on the bottom are these black screws that are longer and so real quick I'll swap these out on the bottom if you made this mistake I'm sorry for me misspoken or misspeaking <laughs> um, but hopefully you can fix it very similar and very quickly uh, as you go about doing this um, that's really the purpose of this video is get all the mess ups and screw ups out so that you don't make the same mistakes at home when putting this together um, but the black ones will go on the bottom and I'll do that now Okay, so now that you have the backing of the drawer all set up your next step is going to be taking the cardboard insert and sliding it directly along the edge here um, so that it slides directly into place and it stays flush. Make sure it's all the way flush on the back. Um, weirdly, they number these steps all for five, so it's really just creating the drawers number five. So that's your next step. So you're gonna do that for all of the drawers. Um, the next part of this is going to be inserting the front of the drawer onto the front of this. Um, in order to do that, it's gonna be very similar to what we did for the top piece. Um, what you'll do is take the, the smaller wooden dowels. There's gonna be two holes on this. You're gonna insert the dowel into the larger of the two holes, which is actually the bottom one near the cardboard board edge um, and then very similar to the top what you're going to do is use your screwdriver um, screw um, the other smaller prongs into this top slot here all right, so once it's all tight, then what you're going to do, um, very similar to what we did for the top piece or um, insert, is you're going to take this locking mechanism, the smaller of the ones, and you're going to slide it on this, into this slot on the side um, so that the arrow is pointing forwards. And it won't flush, it slide all the way into the hole, but you're going to do that on each of these sides. Okay. And then very similar to what we did to the top, you're just going to align these holes for the pegs and the um, screw and get it all the way flush. And part of this is going to be making sure that the cardboard is into the slot, which it currently is not which is why it's not flush. So there you go, it's all the way flush. And then very similar to what we did to the top, you're just gonna use your screwdriver, tighten this all the way. So it's tight and you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And so that's what you'll do as far as putting together the rest of the drawer as far as the front, the sides and the bottom. Um, so that's that step here. So do that for all five drawers. All right, so now that you have the drawers together, the third part of part five or step five is gonna be installing the railing to the bottom of the drawers. In order to do this, just flip over the drawer upside down. And then each of these is gonna be specific where what you're gonna to wanna to do is have it so the wheels facing the back 
Um, so one is gonna be facing the back like that, and then the other is gonna be facing the back like that. Make sure the wheels are in the back, and then you're gonna use the remaining screws you have, which are these shorter ones, um, to install the, the, the railing directly on this. As far as doing this, what you'll do is line it up so that the third hole or the on the bottom is gonna be lined up, and then you'll just screw this directly to the bottom of the drawer. And so you'll do that for one side, like this. And then very similarly, the, the other uh, third hole from the front is gonna be lined up on the front and you'll just screw that all the way down. And then make sure both are tight. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing for the other side. I'm not gonna do this on camera because I just showed you how to do it, but I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like at the end of step five. The wheels for the railing are gonna be in the back, okay, on each side. And then everything else is set up for the drawers, so the drawers are done at that point. So just finish this up for each of the five drawers. Okay, so step six, um, you're gonna take your current cabinet and you're just basically gonna slide all these drawers in. All you have to do is just basically slide the railing or drawer directly into uh, the drawers on the edge here. Uh, make sure it sits flush and then do that for each of the drawers. And so that's that. And then one more. Okay, so that's gonna, oops, see, so if it's not flush, it, it, well, it won't seat right. Um, but as you can tell here with all the drawers in, they're easily sliding in and out without any difficulty. Um, so that's gonna be step six for inserting the drawers. And then we have a quick step seven on the back panel, which I'll show you now. All right, so step seven, I almost missed this one when I first finished because I was excited to get this done, but there's gonna be four separate white pieces with screws in one of the instrument packets. Um, what you're gonna do here is you're actually gonna take the white piece. Um, it's gonna have kind of this like L-shaped thing. You're gonna basically go to all the corners on the back panel, line it up so that it's flush with the side as well as the top or whichever edge you're dealing with. And then you're gonna basically take a screw and just screw this directly in. The purpose of this is it'll keep the back panel in place and prevent it from coming off. There's actually no holes on the side, so it's kind of weird for this, but basically you're just gonna screw this all the way in until it's flush and tight, and so that's what you're gonna do, and you're gonna do that for each of the four corners here, so I'll do that real quick and then show you once I'm done. Okay, so this is what the back looks like after you're done. Um, those L-shaped pieces actually slide along the edge here and keep everything in place, so just screw those in like that, um, but that's what the back looks like. As far as the drawer system, um, this is what it looks like when it's done, so after, using the instructions, it was pretty straightforward, so hopefully this video helps as well as far as assembly. I had no issues as far as damaging the drawers or crookedness or anything when putting it together um, using the instructions, so just follow them as I did in this video. Um, as far as the overall construction and build, um, I'll say that it's it's decent for the price. For $90, it is what you kind of expect for that price point. Um, it is all particle board and like that cardboard insert. The drawers in general are kind of like a cheap, flimsy kind of feel. Like they're a little bit wobbly. They're not that sturdy. Um, there is a concern that if you use these and you put something heavy or put too much weight weight in the drawer. I am a little bit worried these might not hold um, that great um, because they're kind of cheaply built. Um, so be careful there. The other thing I've noticed is that the drawer depth is not the best of depth where you could probably fit your basic office supplies, notebooks, that sort of thing, but you can't fit things that are too deep here. Um, so that's the other thing. So overall it is decent for the price. It's kind of what you expect for $90. Um, the overall construction, the design looks good. I had no issues as far as the, the building construction, which is nice because there were a lot of reviews where people commented that they either damaged this or broke something in the process. So just follow the instructions as I showed in this video. Um, they do have this in both a white color as well as a black color. I think the black color is a little bit cheaper, so you can always pursue that option if you're interested in that color design. Uh, but this is the 
Winsome Halifax five drawer dresser. You can get it on Amazon for about $90. If you have questions, comments, post them below. I'll leave a link in the description below for where you can purchase it as well. And as always, if you like this video, hit the like button and, and subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks for watching and have a great night.